up YouTube today we're gonna be breaking down the bottom end of a 66 cc motorized bike engine just in case if you might have some debris and uh, metal savings or your crank might be locked up or something or you just want to know how to take it apart this video should be easy and pretty fast you know, it take me take me a couple of minutes to tear them down. All right, let's get started. Okay, now the tools I use, of course, the two Allen keys for them. Some of y'all might have the Phillips. Use a strong. You're gonna need a strong flathead. These two should do it. Impact screwdriver. This. Just in case them three screws don't want to come up. Okay, you want to put your screws up somewhere else safe where you might not misplace them. Alright, three covers. Take your neck and bar out. Should be a bar. Next should be a ball inside the Okay, it's stuck in there. But it should be a ball in there. Y'all's might come right out. Mine's stuck because of that grease. Okay. So put your nucking bar up. Next, you want to get your chain or if your chain already on your motor. Put it in there just like that. I had three covers off and I saw I took the clutch off, the clutch cover. Okay, next you want to lock up your chain. Make sure it's long enough from to reach from here to there. Use a screwdriver, Allen key, it don't matter. Get your spark plug too. Put that up some, somewhere else safe. I choose to put mines in here. Ain't nothing in there but clutch pads and my screws for my three covers and my tractor supply chain. No, you need this. Uh, you need to leave that in there. Uh, Okay, so now we got the screw off for the clutch, for the clutch bracket. Now it's time to get this one off. Wait, to be honest, you really don't need to get this one off to take it off. I'm going to show you. But I will show you how to get both of them off. It's just the opposite. You lock up the chain and you screw it. That'll break it right there. Then if you want to take the clutch off, imagine this screw took off where well, we just broke it. 
and you just put the little tool on and uh then you pull the clutch out but I'm gonna do mine is different next one we just gonna pull this pull this bracket gear out and knock this one here out gonna knock it that way so we ain't gotta take all this off find the right one for that one. The screwdriver back in there. Lock it back up. Right. Tighten this baby up. No, it could go tighter in there. Um, go on the script. Snap. Let me try to use this one here. No, it's supposed to go farther than it. Guess that's it. Gotta stand up to do that one. Snap. <laughs> Ooh, that mug, that was so hard to break. I ain't want to edit that out because it's going to be hard for you to do it and you need to know that it's hard for everybody. Now your gear just, you see it's easing up? You see it's easing up? Whoo! I'm tired, bro. <laughs> okay, now you want to. Put it back on. Unloosen it. Unloosen the top one. Then we're going to put it back on. Now we're about to unscrew it since after we broke it. Because we're going to have to use that tool again. Ten times, five full turns. Okay. Now you want to put your sprite it up safe. If you're using a full chain or a half chain, you put that up. Also, your wood drove key. You know, be careful when you taking your sprite it off. Sometimes it'll get stuck on it. Of times you gotta knock it out because they glue it in there. Mm, what I don't need a nose hit. <laughs> I 
I stick mine to a magnet. As you can see, I already got a few of them. One, two. They're so small that they so easy to lose. Oh yeah, you also gonna need your They bought out. Oh, here you go. I'm gonna just screw your boat back on the halfway. I'm gonna screw it all the way down because we're gonna hit it with the hammer and we don't want to damage any wedges. Okay, next we gonna get this screw out but to get this screw out we're gonna have to lock up the gears and what we're gonna use to lock up the gears is you can use a penny nickel quarter or a big washer or sometimes I even use this here this little half moon for the pineapple bushing I use that anything any metal that's softer then the gears you don't want to use like no hard steel to use like a penny the copper you know copper is very soft so we just gonna lock up the gears with that and then you know you want to get you a strong screwdriver like mine was easy but sometimes they these be real real hard to come off accident. It was bent. Hmm. Okay. Next, you're going to need to pull it to this one going to have to go in the bottom. I got the gears locked up at the bottom because we tightened it that way to the right. But this should be tight enough. Sometimes I don't get it as tight and I end up scripting it. Hopefully it is tight enough. Just like for the clutch gear. Well, we're gonna get it off later. <laughs> A washer was in the way.
so you can unloosen the tool back off. This one also have a wood drop key. Knock that wood draft key out with a flathead, or if you can, pull it out with a needle nose pliers. I got that grease on my too, that's why it's slipping off. Make sure you don't damage your seals. That's also why I'm being so careful. I don't want to damage that seal. You do that, then your engine ain't, it might not run. And I don't want to, see it's coming up. I don't want to pipe it off. And then mug end up going somewhere where I can't find it. <laughs> you got to be very careful with these, man. You don't want to end up losing no parts. Due to the magnet. Okay. Now make sure you got your boat on. Because we're going to hit this clutch off. I'm going to give it a few taps. I just screw a tang up on his own. So when it do that, just lock up these three and it's gonna come right off. Next, I like to use a rubber mallet so I won't damage this. I get out with the rubber mallet. Now look at that. Ooh, that grease stain that I put on the. Look in the inside. Ain't no grease in here. So what they tell you? When you get these motors, you gotta oil and grease them yourself. Uh, a quick way to access this here to grease it is unscrew this screw right here and then just. No, pour some grease all down there. Okay, now next, gonna be these three screws. Wanna get to, I think this tool, this is the tool I usually use. Oh, it broke easy. But if not, if it wasn't gonna break with this, I was gonna use this impact screwdriver. No, I never even tried, I wanna try it before. This is gonna be my first time trying. To. Okay, that worked good. That worked good. You want to break the break these three first, cause when you unloosen these, these will tighten up even more. Okay, now next is gonna be the alley keys.
I hate when these begin stuck in the Just want to break it. You don't want to take them all out right away. Do the same for these. It be on the tight, man. It be on the very, very tight. Bad screw right here. Now I'm finna just take all the screws out. Need to take my magneto out, but. Just in case if you want to. I'm going to show you how to get it off. Well, your magneto magnet. And that grease stink, bro. And a grease thing. I'm gonna throw that away. I think I finally got it. <laughs> be taking me a little while too. I don't want to edit everything out because I don't want to make it look too easy. This, this ain't none of this stuff here easy, man. Actually, I kind of skipped this step. But the reason why I was taking it apart wasn't to take the whole thing apart. I wanted to just take one side off. But I know most of y'all would want to take the whole thing apart. To get the magneto magnet off, you're gonna need to lock up your gears at the bottom. You wanna take that magnet off before before you pull both of these off, you wanna take that magnet off. edit this out cuz it's great learning See, I wasn't gonna take it off cuz I was only gonna grease up I 
Yeah, I wasn't gonna take it off because I think I dropped a pin in a, a clip, but I don't know. So I only needed to take one side off, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it completely apart. That way I could grease it or do whatever else I wanna do to it. They just pull right out. This one also have a Woodruff key. Don't lose it. Okay, we got all the screws out. Two washers, one lock washer. Okay. Hopefully I remember that. <laughs> Just in case if they fall off. For the magneto crank seal. I'm gonna leave my um magneto inside the cover because no reason for me to take it out. But if you want to take yours out, then just unscrew the four screws. Should pull right up. <laughs> Man, this was the easiest motor I ever took apart. Probably because it was brand new. Man. I knew that was going to happen. I'm not even mad. Oh, wow. You know. Oh, yeah. Also, on your crank, there should be two washers. Yours might be stuck together on it. But you'll see them. If your motor been ran, it might be stuck together on it, or it might be stuck right there. But on each side, it's going to be two washers. Damn. Yeah, this was the easiest motor I ever put together. Took apart, I mean.